Hey friends, and welcome to another episode of Is It Worth It? And we are moving into the Christmas season. And I know this is being released on Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving. I wanted to kick off this holiday season with Advent calendars. We have a bunch of different Advent calendars that I'm so excited to share with you. So let's get going. Okay, so all of the advent calendars are food related except for one. So last year, my husband and I, we bought several different advent calendars and it was so fun to just get together each evening and open up a little chocolate from each of the little packages, taste them all, and we really tried to be intentional about that time, sharing favorite Christmas memories or talking about just how our day went, just, you know, really connecting. So that was really sweet. And I can't wait to continue that tradition. This year, I not only wanted to have several different tasty advent calendars, but when I saw this first advent calendar, which is not food related, I knew I wanted to get it for my husband and I because we are big puzzle fans. <laughs> and what a better way to really spend time together in the evening than doing a puzzle. And this advent calendar, which I found on Amazon, it was $29.99 when I got it a few weeks ago. So first off, this jigsaw puzzle advent calendar has 24 different boxes. It's really cute. It has a picture of Santa on it in his sleigh with townsfolk and snowmen and town scene that is really pretty. It's called Santa's Sleigh Ride. What I really like about this advent calendar is that it is something that you can do year after year because a lot of advent calendars are consumable. Even if it's like, oh, a fun sock advent calendar or something, you just open those up that year. This way, this is a fun family tradition of putting together a Christmas puzzle and it's broken up, you know, obviously into 24 different days, but, but that means the puzzle is also broken up into small sections that are doable instead of being overwhelmed with a huge puzzle. This puzzle is a thousand and eight pieces and each day is broken up into 42 different pieces. And it comes with the poster that really can help you put it together. Something else I noticed, I went ahead and did day one so you could see what it looked like. Beautiful colors, a very reasonable amount of puzzle pieces that you can put together, especially with somebody else. If you have kids and they get frustrated, just keep in mind that each puzzle piece, which is labeled with the day on the back, the number is orientated so that they all go the same direction. So that's at least a little hint as far as like, if you get stuck with not knowing which direction the piece goes in and it just makes it that much easier to put together. So overall, highly recommend this advent calendar and I can't wait to use it in the years to come. Okay, so to start off the food advent calendars, we're going to begin with non-traditional foods. Starting with this Hickory Farms Countdown to Christmas. So it looks like this. It's very cute. I love the little drawers and it's supposed to build. Now I ordered this online for $64.99. So it is pretty expensive. Plus there was $16.99 in shipping. Ooh, and which totaled $81.98. I know Hickory Farms, you can see a lot of their like gift baskets in the stores around this time of year. And like at least at Sam's Club, they're probably around 50 bucks. So if you're looking to build a charcuterie board, that might be a better option. But um, this is very cute. It's very hefty. <laughs> My only question is, I guess, are you supposed to save each item until the 24th and then on Christmas Eve? Maybe have a cute little cheese platter. But let's open up the first couple days and see what they look like. Okay, so day one is this beef summer sausage. So I'm sure that's gonna be really tasty. None of this is refrigerated and it didn't come with any ice or anything. It doesn't say to refrigerate. So that's interesting. Oh, I guess it's fine. Uh, day two looks like it has, you know, like a block of cheddar. Very nice. And let's see, 
Day three has some sweet hot mustard like that. So I'm not sure if there are crackers in here. Oh, day 12 is some candy. So it looks like it's going to build a very cute board. Uh, and yeah, I don't know. If you like more savory instead of sweet, this might be a great option or it would be a very nice gift. All right, so along that line of savory, we have this Members Mark European Cheese Advent Calendar. I really like this because it comes with 24 pieces, so you get one every day, and I found this at Sam's Club. It was $16.88, and this was in the refrigerated area. When you open it up, looks like this. It's, I love the colors. It says it comes with two of each cheese and it includes things like smoky cheddar, pesto gouda, some things I can't pronounce, <laughs> spiced apple cheddar, Mediterranean gouda. But let's go ahead and open the first day. You can see they are little tasty cheeses that are adorable. I'm not gonna open those up yet just because I'm gonna wait. It is hard to go wrong with cheese. As you saw in my last video where I tasted a lot of different cheeses, and they were mostly all good. Okay, so next up, we're kind of moving into the more sweet area. We have this 12 Days of Christmas little mini spreads. This I found at Sam's Club for $15.98. It is the 12 day edition. I think online you might be able to find a 24 day edition um, on their main website for $67.98. It seems very steep <laughs> um, increase for double the amount of jam for four times almost the amount of cost. I did see that Costco does also carry these I checked online, but you have to, I think, get a two pack and it is $44.99. If you don't have to buy two, can you let me know down in the comments below? Can't go wrong with little jams, jams and jellies. <laughs> if you know that reference, let me know. Overall, inside it is adorable. I love the tree and just the colors. Let's open up day one. It has this adorable little jar with some jelly in it. And these would be cute, I don't know, later on to fill with something, uh, maybe like caramel or some sort of little sauce and give them away as gifts in your own little gift baskets. But anyways, this first one is an apricot banana spread, which sounds really tasty and not something I would typically try or go for um, when buying jam from the store. So that's kind of fun to just try something new. So within this, there are there is the apricot and banana spread, caramel with cinnamon, cherry with spices, fig with cardamom, and among so many others, and they're all unique flavors. So that's really, really neat. So I absolutely love the idea of this advent calendar, and I think it's gonna be super fun. So next up we have, the 24 days of tea and i love tea i'm not a huge coffee fan i did see one advent calendar where it was coffee and that was from sprouts but i went ahead and thought i'd try a tea one first maybe i'll do coffee next year this one i ordered online it's from adiagio teas it's a d a g i o teas and you can go to their website this one was 34 dollars plus standard brown rate shipping and after i purchased it a screen popped up that was like oh do you want any samples and it seemed honestly kind of sketchy but it was legitimate and i was able to get a bunch of different teas and even a couple coffees to try out so that'll be really neat but let's look at this tea box so already love it love the colors it looks great inside and let's look at day one so we're gonna open it up and it's super cute. It says it is reindeer fuel. So this one has, says to steep for three to five minutes, black tea, ginger, peppermint, toasted matte tea, cocoa nibs, and natural chocolate flavor. This has, and it also says it's high caffeine. This is a loose leaf tea set. So keep that in mind. You'll want to have a strainer. And overall, I think this is really adorable. Mm, right off the bat, it smells really delicious. All right, so it's been three to five minutes and let's give it a try. Mmm. 
definitely great flavor like this tea a lot day two let's just see what that one is it says pumpkin spice on it so that'll be tasty so i am really excited to go ahead and try these and um, enjoy them in the evenings all right so this next one is the 12 days of spirits which is the member marks brand from sam's club so it says it contains 12 ready to make cocktails so let's open it up. And when I first was opening this, for whatever reason, the entire area filled with bottles was backwards. So, so opening the little flap just showed me cardboard. So I had to take the whole thing out, flip it around so that the actual like advent part of this could work. So each day actually comes with two little bottles. The first one, at least for day one, is American vodka, and you're supposed to mix it with a Cosmopolitan mixer. So let's mix these together and see how they taste. Just so we're all on the same page, I don't drink a ton, so whether this is good or bad, maybe don't take my word for it. <laughs> and I feel like this might be better if it were chilled, but let's find out. Okay, so it says pour both of these into a shaker with ice and shake until chilled, then pour into a martini glass and garnish with a lime. So yeah, it would be better chilled with the ice, but I'm not gonna get my shaker out for this. I'm just gonna try it real fast. So let's taste it. Oh, I think it's good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I really like the sweetness that comes through from the non-alcoholic part of the drink mix. But um, I think if you do enjoy a nice nightcap, that this would be a tasty option. I do see on the box, it does tell you what comes in here. So it does come with vodka, both American and French, Canadian whiskey, spice drum, gin. Those are the spirits. So there's a mixture of 12 of those. And then it comes with Cosmo mixers, Mule mixers, Dirty Martini, Sour, Blood Orange, and Old Fashioned and Mojito mixers. All right, so this could be a very fun gift or something fun for yourself if you enjoy a little drink in the evening. Okay, so next up we have this C's advent calendar. I was really excited to try this because I grew up going to the C's store next to the mall and it just always has great memories for me of going with my mom or my grandma and I've always enjoyed their treats. So yeah, so overall this advent calendar is adorable has a cute scene and I love that it stands up on its own. You know, so you can leave it out. It can be kind of its own decoration. So let's check out the first candy. And it looks like it is individually wrapped. It is its own high quality candy. Let's give it a try. Mmm. Mm. This is so good. It is marshmallow with caramel underneath, definitely decadent. I ordered this online from Seas and it came within a couple days. It was wrapped in insulated paper and um, I think it even had an ice pack with it. So they definitely take care of their chocolates. They know they don't want them to melt. It was $50 plus $11.95 in shipping. So it's definitely on the higher end, but you definitely get such good chocolate and treats. And in this Seas Candy Advent Calendar, you have Scotch Mallows, Milk Chocolate, Santa's, Dark Butter Chew, Milk Chocolate Butter Chews, just lots of milk chocolate with different additives, some butterscotch, lollipops, just like so many, it's such a great variety. So definitely, definitely recommend. Next up, we have this Lint Teddy Advent Calendar. We did get a Lint advent calendar last year and I recall really enjoying it. For some reason, I feel like in the stores there aren't as many advent calendars. The majority I've found have been either from Target or like Sam's Club. Um, and then I've had to order online. Last year we also ordered a Godiva advent calendar and it was phenomenal. 
So that was also high quality chocolate. I opted to skip that this year in order to try out the Seas candy and I don't regret it because uh, the Seas candy is so good. But anyways, so just so you know, you might have to look online for a lot of these advent calendars. This Lint Teddy calendar is super cute. I really like the games on the back. You have a little spot the difference picture and a connect the dots so kids will love that. This one was $10 and it was from Target. So let's try it out. So in this advent calendar, it comes with mini milk chocolate balls, double milk chocolate balls, hazelnut cream balls, and lots more milk chocolate. It looks like most everything is milk chocolate. <laughs> but uh, there's also teddy bears and squares. So there's a little bit of variety, but let's give it a try. Mmm, it's really tasty. It's not a surprise. Next up, we have this Divine co-owned by Cocoa Farmers Advent Milk Chocolate Calendar. I found this at Natural Grocers, but I did see online that they have it at the World Market. At Natural Grocers, it was $7.19, and I've never actually tried the Divine Chocolate brand before, so I'm excited to try that. All right, so on the front you have this pretty tree with all these figures and beautiful colors that I think kind of represent where the chocolate comes from. And inside, when you open the flap, it has a little fact on each of the flaps. So that's neat that you can learn about the cocoa farmers and where the chocolate comes from. But this first one is, is a cute heart. So let's give it a try. It's, it's delicious chocolate. It's really good. Now, as you'll notice with this and with a few of the others that I have, these thinner advent calendars, I believe they just fill the tray with chocolate and then cover it however they will. So they're not individually wrapped chocolates, which I think is reflected in the price and the variety, obviously, of what you get in the advent calendar. But overall, this was really delicious and I recommend it. All right, so next up we have this PEA, I don't know if it's PEA, <laughs> advent calendar. It is adorable. I love the Santa on there with all the children. It is made in Germany, according to the package, and the back is so cute. You're able to color it in, so it's great for kids. I found this one at Sprouts for $3. I did see online that you could get it at Kroger, not sure the price there, or on Amazon for $7.50. So if you have a Sprouts, they're only $3 there, and definitely recommend picking it up there. So let's give it a try. Okay, so you have this cute little Gingerbread man, chocolate's okay. Tastes, I don't know if it's the plasticky stuff coming through or cardboard. I don't wanna say it tastes cheap, but it kind of has that Palmer's chocolate taste to it. The last one I tried, which was more expensive, was definitely better chocolate. This one's okay, I mean, it's only three bucks, so your kids probably won't notice. Next up, we have the favorite day holiday countdown. You guys know how I feel about favorite day. I haven't found a favorite yet. So this one is from Target and it is $4. And Target actually had a bunch of different advent calendars. And I noticed online, they actually offered some more like mixed drink, that type of stuff. Um, you know, 12 day countdown of alcoholic drink advent calendars, but they didn't have them available at my local Target. So I couldn't get them. You'll notice on this one that the back has a holiday seek and find. So that's really cute. Um, so you can look for them on the front picture. I like that. I always love when there's a little bit more interaction, a little more thought put into it, but let's give the chocolate a try. So day one is a little house and let's try it. Ooh, it's all right. I mean, at first I was like, oh, I think it's a little bit better than the last one, but it has a weird aftertaste. I don't know what that is. Anyways, like I said, your kids probably won't notice. <laughs> Which sounds horrible, but their kids. It's okay, but I think there's so many better options that I would still pass on this. Okay, next up from Target as well is the holiday countdown calendar, which is the Elf on the Shelf version. So this might be really fun if you do Elf on the Shelf with your kids. On the back, it has a cute little match the snowflake game. And overall, if you're a big Elf on the Shelf fan, it's adorable. And this one was only $3 from Target as well. 
So let's give the chocolate a try. It's a little Christmas tree. I like this better than the favorite day. And I actually, I think I like it better than the one from Sprouts. The chocolate doesn't have a ton of flavor. I mean, it's three bucks, so I'm not expecting gourmet, but I do like this one and it's cheaper than the others. It's actually pretty good and your kids will probably like it. Next up, we have this Kinder Chocolate countdown calendar it's adorable and it has a cute little santa in his train with all these fun characters and it says let's have a season filled with fun reveal the secrets one by one so definitely love this little box and the chocolate that it comes with are both milk chocolate with creamy milky filling but i think they have little different designs on the wrappers but let's check it out so here it is and inside each one is the creamy milky filling which is pretty tasty and i think these are really popular with kids so i think they would really like this this was eight dollars from target so it is a little bit more expensive but each little piece is individually wrapped it's not just poured into a mold and wrapped up for you so i really do like this a lot and i do recommend it all right so this next advent calendar is the hershey's kisses advent calendar and it says merry Christmas on it pretty cute i love the back it has a word search on it that are christmas themed and so let's open up the first one i do believe they are all just regular kisses which is kind of lame because <laughs> we all know what kisses taste like and they make so many neat flavors like i tried in the last episode uh, was it the sugar cookie one and the hot chocolate kisses like that would be so fun to have a variety pack and then it would introduce you to their seasonal flavors and then you might go out and buy a pack. So I don't know. Anyways, it's cute, but it is pretty pricey. I found this at Target and it was $7. And the fact that it only comes with 24 kisses and you have to pay seven bucks for it, I would rather just buy a bag of kisses and get way more. And that costs around four bucks. <laughs> so it's up to you, but I mean, we can give this a try. It's just a normal kiss. It's good. It's exactly what you'd expect from a Hershey's chocolate kiss. On this one, I think I would skip it only because of the price and what you're getting. But if you really love Hershey kisses or if your kid does or somebody you know, it might be a fun gift to give them. Okay, so now it is Hank's turn. I found two very adorable advent calendars for dogs. The first one is found at Walmart. It is the Milk Bone advent calendar and it comes with 12 treats. This was $11.48 and the back has perforations so that you can hold it and have it stand up. And let's open the first day just to see if Hank will like it. And it is a cute little stocking. So we'll have him try that. I did also find this adorable advent calendar for dogs at Target and it is 24 days of delicious cookies and it is Molly's Bakery brand, which they make really decadent and beautiful dog treats. This one, when I looked it up online, it was marked down to $11.25. When I bought it like a week or so ago, it was $15, but either way, I think you get double the amount of treats and they are so cute. So, Opening up day one, you'll see you get this adorable red milk bone, which I mean, it, it's decorated beautifully. It looks like a human cookie, um, except it's shaped in a bone and it's just top notch. So I think Hank is super excited to try these. Oh, <laughs> since today is Thanksgiving, Hank is deciding to wear his bow tie for Thanksgiving dinner. So he is dressed up for that and not quite moving into the Christmas spirit, but I'm sure next episode he will be all in for Christmas. But I know he is definitely excited to test these advent calendars for you. All right, so that does it for this episode of Is It Worth It? And I really hope you enjoy looking at all these fun advent calendars with me. 
I am definitely most excited for the C's advent calendar as well as the jigsaw puzzle. I just think that's gonna make a great Christmas tradition. And, I, and I'm honestly, I'm excited for a lot of the savory ones, the cheeses and the, the meats. Uh, so which advent calendar was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Bye. We're good to go. Merry Christmas. So let's open it up. Uh, is it? Whew. Hey, you can't touch the camera, buddy. Oh.